So Jordan Peterson is in the news again, and I wanted to make this video talking about an important lesson, a lesson that can be applied in your life for everything that you do. A very, very important lesson. And so if you're not familiar with what's happening with Jordan Peterson, he's in Russia right now for the last year. He's been fighting a form of depression because of his wife's severe, uh, let's say uh, she has severe cancer. And he went on types of benzos and he had a reaction to benzos and he, they put him in induced coma. Anyways, you can read about what's happening with Jordan. And what I want to talk about is the response that people have been having to Jordan Peterson's situation. And this is an important lesson for you to study. Study how people behave, not what people say. And study how you react as opposed to responding. These are really, really important things to pay attention to. Most people are hypocrites. Most people say one thing, do another thing. Most people react as opposed to respond with, with constructive criticism or constructive conversations. And so if you've been paying attention on YouTube or on Twitter or on Facebook, came out in a very vicious, vitriol manner of attacking Jordan Peterson. There's a saying in the Bible, I am not a religious person. I know you guys know that of me, but it states this, ye cast a first stone who has never sinned. We have all sinned, all of us. And then Matthew 7, it's another famous passage I like, is like, first take the thorn out of your, first take the log out of your eye before you take the thorn out of my eye. And so you see all these people going out there, having no empathy, no sympathy, and putting Jordan underneath the bus. And this is a telltale sign of a huge, I call it a, a psychological crisis of our society. Nietzsche talks about this. So I made a video about the Ubermensch. You need to graduate in three stages of metamorphosis to become an Ubermensch. And Jung talks about the man-child complex or modern day Peter Pan complex. Most people today who are spewing vitriol, who are putting people underneath the bus, they are children who went to trauma who are living in adults' body. They've never healed their own trauma. So they're projecting stuff they're projecting all the hate, all the pain, all the trauma from themselves onto others. And there's, I, I read this passage before, and it's a really good passage. Uh, it's from the book, The Four Agreements. And it's like, anytime you project something onto somebody else, that somebody else is a symbolization of yourself. There's always a trace element of the things that you hate are the things that you hate about yourself. And that rung true when I read it. It's a, I highly recommend go read The Four Agreement by Miguel Rod Rodriguez, I believe. Or Miguel is the author's first name, but Four Agreements. And so you see people on Twitter like, fuck Jordan Peterson, you know, I will, you know, I don't have no sympathy for him, you know, fuck his family, all this shit. And I'm sitting there, I have uh, no fight to pick with this, but just observing and watching people's behaviors. And this can be applicable to any situation. Like I'm using Jordan Peterson situation because it's recent as of yesterday and today. But if you find yourself dealing with people who are automatically, so going back to reaction, automatically reacting to situations, that tells you a lot about that individual. Right away, it tells you that individual hasn't taken time to acknowledge what's happening, hasn't taken time to construct a proper response as opposed to reaction. And that individual has a lot of self-hate. That individual has a lot of trauma and a lot of pain. And the funniest thing I heard about the Jordan Peterson um, situation right now is like, well, he, ha he, uh, he, he hasn't taken his own advice. Listen, we have the human condition. We all have vices. There's no such thing as a perfect human being. Uh, the human, the, we have, we have, um, we have philosophies, and we have certain north stars that we project as something to look at. It's not perfection, right? We're always gonna screw up. That's the human condition. The problem is people like to paint things in black and white and make everything binary. They likes to state, and then I, I'll give a good example. For example, person that I love to listen to is Alan Watts. You know, if you look, if you look at the the message that Alan Watts talks about, it's fantastic. But we all know, you know, Alan Watts had an alcoholic problem and he had a lot of other personal issues. But this is a thing. We're human, and it happens a lot though with leftists and people who are social justice warriors, where you have to be in line with every single aspect of your message meaning if there's one iota 
uh, of, of negativity within you, or if there's one iota of a bad characteristics of something you've done in the past, oh, well, we can't be friends with you. We can't talk with you. We're going to villainize you. We're going to attack you. There's no, I'm going to repeat this again. There's no perfect human being out there. Nietzsche states it's an it's a metamorphosis. It's an evolution to become an Ubermensch. There is no absolute perfect human being. So I wanted to make this quick video for you guys to use this as an opportunity to analyze yourself. Always start with yourself. Rumi has a saying, yesterday I was clever. I want to change the world. Today I'm wise. I want to change myself. And Jordan Peterson talks about this. Stop trying to change the world when you have to make your own bedroom. And if each human being focuses on themselves, the world will be a better place because that's the thing you can control. I can't control what's happening in politics. I can't control what's happening in China right now. I can't control what's happening you know, on, on the big global scale, but I can control what happens with myself. I can control how I think. I can control how I behave. I can control all aspects of myself. And this is an Ubermensch, you know, becoming the absolute observer that's you know for me when i uh, when i really understand ubermensch is a observational individual right and this is why meditation is really good so this is a great lesson for you to be don't be caught up in this arguments online when you see something that you get an emotional response to it pause reflect write down your arguments for it use dr christopher de carlo's method a b c d e f the critical thinking and really reflect on yourself and reflect of why you're thinking this way. And bottom line, the golden message as well is don't put people underneath the bus. It's the golden law. Treat people how you want to be treated yourself, you know. <laughs> Listen, man, like, w let me ask you this. What benefit do you get regardless of if you like an individual or you don't like an individual or you hate an individual? What benefit do you get by attacking that individual? and by putting that individual on the, nothing. There's much more upside, asymmetrical upside, if you build bridges, add value, create stuff, build stuff. This is the thing with people who attack other people. They are deconstructionists. They're not positive individuals. You know, they have a lot of pain inside. They want to see everything burn because they're not happy with themselves. They're not loving themselves. And so they want to bring everybody else down like the crab in the bucket. And so fuck that shit. You want to bring yourself up. You want to build bridges, build bonds, create amazing things, amazing movements, amazing businesses, uh, uh, you know, amazing foundations, whatever you want to do. But instead of bringing people back, bringing people down, you want to rise people up, right? Starting with yourself. So leave it at that. If you have a comment for me, leave a comment below this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, hit the like button and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.